Hello everybody, Sean here, Detroit Disney Duo, the Sean Stories, and Meathead Baracus is right here next to me. Uh, Baracus, you have anything to say, buddy? Not, maybe not? Okay. He has nothing to say. Anyways, uh, he's just relaxing and chillaxing in the chair over there. Anyways, today is uh, Christmas Day, and uh, it's uh, only about, um, let's see here, uh, the 31st, uh, only about uh, six days until New Year's Eve, and uh, yeah, and then, then it's 2022. Where has the year gone? Anyways, I'm already starting to think about my New Year's resolutions that I'll never probably keep anyways, but hey, anyhow. So, I do have a lot of things to talk about. They are in here, in, right below me, in this binder right here. Uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about New Year's Eve, since I just brought that up. New Year's Eve, what is going to happen with New Year's Eve? I know uh, last year uh, I watched, uh, well, they didn't have anything really going on in New York. They did have a lot of people who were there that actually, they were, uh, all the entertainers were there. Um, but, uh, you know, this year they're going to have 15,000 people, a lot of like 1 million people usually. 15,000 people uh, down in Times Square watching. It'll look a little bit more crowded than it did last time, of course, because last time they had like only a few select handful, uh, very select people that were there. I think service members, some doctors, nurses, firefighters, police, military, you know what I'm saying? So this year they're going to have even more people. Uh, I'm sure it'll be kind of a lockdown. But uh, anyway, some of the good news is, is that LL Hall of Famer Cool J is going to be there uh, with Ryan Seacrest. Now, I usually do, I used to watch uh, the, uh, the New Year's Eve uh, with Ryan Seacrest, uh, but um, not anymore. My favorite is Anderson Cooper and his, I don't know the name of his, I think it's his husband now. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I don't even know his name, actually, to be honest, man. I mean, I should need, need to find that out. Anyhow, yes, uh, I watched them because they just, you know, it's New Year's Eve. It's on CNN. You know, they, they just let it loose. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I used to watch Ryan Seacrest, be, and before him, I used to watch Dick Clark. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, now I'm really hooked on to Anderson Cooper and CNN and stuff like that. And it's, and it's, it, I love it. So we'll have to see what happens. I did last year, I did watch it live. And then I also had streaming on my TV, uh, the 4K EarthCam, 4K EarthCam web camera that's there that streams uh, right, exactly right in Times Square and uh, kind of seen, uh, some uh, things that were live behind behind the scenes, even though I wasn't really there. It's kind of cool stuff. Anyhow, uh, what else? If you have not been paying attention to this channel lately, right? There's a new there's a new playlist called the Disney Dish. Basically, it's where I talk about Disney news, Disney stuff. I rant on about it. I give you my dish, my dish. It's it's a wonderful dish on what's going on everything Disney. It is great, it's spectacular, it's wonderful. You should tune in, you should watch it. There is no set schedule right now, even though I should really do that, say it's on a certain day and then just stick with it. And that's something I'm, in, I'm going to be working on in uh, this next year is having a schedule about when I'm going to be doing things because I think that's part of the reason why why a lot of people, I don't know. You know, I think that's, you've got to have a schedule. You know, that's part of the plan. Anyways, uh, part of talking about plans. This next year, actually starting like almost immediately, I am going to be, and I may or may not, we'll see how it goes, but I will be talking about my weight loss plan and also my mental uh, stress uh, plan uh, and see it in action and share with you my journey, how to de-stress, because everybody needs to de-stress, but also my tips and tricks on how to de-stress, not, not, not to distress like things like, you know, furniture and stuff like that, to de-stress de yourself, 
right? To make sure that you don't have those stressors in life uh, so you can live more calmly and more happier, right? Uh, that, I'm going to be working on that along with losing some weight that I need to get off. Yeah, that's right. I mean, everybody needs to lose a few pounds, except some people who are really thin and they look beautiful, but they won't accept that. But if you, look, everybody's beautiful. Trust me. Okay, anyways, and then, let's see here, New Year's Eve. What am I going to be doing New Year's Eve? Well, I'll be watching it on TV. I just talked about this. I'll be watching it on TV, and then also, right, on New Year's Eve, I will be popping a, a champagne. I, be, I, ca I collect the bottles. I haven't even shown you guys a picture of it before, but I do collect the bottles of champagne that I open up every New Year's Eve, except, oh, did I do one last year? I think I messed up last year, but... It's back. It's back on. I'll be doing that. Now, also, 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 one thing that I'll be working on this year is also taking advantage of my planning and organizational skills, which I have a lot of them. You may not know this, but I have for a long time have been very organizational about my note taking. That's right. I'm not a professional note taker, but I am almost an expert note taker. So I do have a Franklin planner. That's what I use most of the time. But now all of a sudden I have started to kind of check out the bullet journal. There's lots of videos out there on YouTube about bullet journaling. You should go check them out. It's a kind of a new interesting fad trend that's been going on for several years. It is very similar to the Franklin planner system, which I'm so used to doing built on tasks and goals. And that's the same thing that the bullet journal is, I think. Just to be honest, I think that really basically where the bullet journal came from was a person that liked the Franklin Planner, but maybe they didn't want to spend all the money that they had in the Franklin Planner. So they just basically whipped out one of their own books and came up with their own thing. That's cool. And, uh, you know, whatever works for you. Whatever kind of planning works for you is best. But, uh, yeah. Also, in the future, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Because I am going to be doing some adult coloring. I We bought a ton of coloring pencils, like 150 or something like that. We have all sorts of shades of blue and green and gray even. Yeah. Anyways, and we're going to be using the pencils and we're going to be doing uh, filling in and we won't be drawing. I'm, uh, I'm very bad at drawing. You would not want to see a drawing of mine. I only do stick figures. You know, maybe some football hash uh, plans, you know what I'm saying? But uh, really, to be honest, we're going to be coloring in adult uh, coloring book pages, uh, ASMR sort of, just maybe like a uh, color and chat kind of video. Look for that in the future. You know, that's why you should have the notifications on, that way that you know what's coming. Also take part in the community tab on our channel, that way you know in the future, hey, this is coming at you. This is going to be coming up. You need to you need, you need to be informed. It's really important. Notification bell, community tab. Just putting that out there. Also, looking in my binder, by the way. Also, um, I wanted to say, it's nice to be nice. Well, I, that's what Dev says, but it's nice. Be nice to everybody. That's I think that's the the word I've been to borrow from a couple of other YouTubers, because not just Prince Charming Jeff says it's nice to be nice. Other people say be nice. And I'm saying be nice. Treat people the way that you want to be treated and treat them good and be uh, do a good mitzvah. Basically, treat them good and then they'll treat you back good, hopefully. Hopefully. But at least you'll have peace at mind that you're being good to them. So as this year starts off in 2022, and you could start today, you don't have to wait till six more days, right? But let's start treating people better, treating them nicer. They don't have to agree with you on everything. They don't have to agree with you on anything, but let's just try to treat each other nicer. That way that we can, uh, you know, we can have a great, planet, a great world, a great place to get along with each other. 
And, uh, and you know, but we, we all, all have to understand we all have differences of opinions and differences in just everything. And not everybody is going to be like you. You're your own individual. And that's something to celebrate. Anyways, okay, with that said, I appreciate you guys. And I really appreciate everybody here that comes here and watches the videos and comments and everything else like that. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you really soon. I think tomorrow I'm going to try to make a video. I have some things right here. They're, they're going around. They're the hamsters inside the brain. They're really not hamsters in there, I promise. But anyways, thoughts are churning. You know what I'm saying? There are, uh, uh, I have things that I'm going to have to write down inside the the, the thing. And um, he says hello too, by the way. I'm just saying. Okay, talk to you guys later. And for now, you know what time it is. Over and out. Over and out. <laughs>